Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. It's Monday, which means it's the end of an event week and tomorrow we're gonna be getting new content in Grand Theft Auto Online. Today, we're gonna be talking about what's gonna be going away, what we can expect, and a whole lot more. So let's start with what's gonna be going away. The first thing that we'll be ending is double GTA money and RP and air quotas. So that's the newest adversary mode that Rockstar released. Although I'm almost 100% sure that they are going to end up extending this. This is typically what they do with new adversary modes. So I would bet you that we get another week of double money and RP in this adversary mode. It's not my favorite game mode, but if you enjoy it, it is a nice way to make a little bit of extra cash. Also, you've got 25% discounts on select facility upgrades, uh, styles, graphics, and the security room. That's going to be ending. So if for whatever reason you don't own a facility to do the Doomsday Heist, now might be an okay time to get one of those. You've also got 25% off of the Buckingham Pyro, which again is a pretty okay vehicle from Smuggler's Run. 25% off the Night Shark, a very nice weaponized vehicle from Gun Running. And then you have the Premium Race, which is Plummet, and the Time Trial, which is Tungva Valley. Those are going to be ending uh, today, or they should be ending very early in the morning on Tuesday, around 4.30 or 5 a.m. That's typically when the tunables are set to update and we'll, when we'll be getting new content. Now, there's also targeted sales as well. Those targeted sales are 30% off the aircraft workshop and then 35% off the following vehicles, the T-20, the Reaper, the Tempesta, and the Shotaro. So some pretty nice supercars and a super bike to go along with it. So again, those are all the discounts that will be ending around that 4.30 or 5 a.m. time on Tuesday morning. That's when we're gonna be getting a new set of tunables and that's when we're gonna be getting new content in online. So let's talk about that new content and let's start with the prize feature and that is going to be a new vehicle. So just like last week, we still have one vehicle left on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. It's the Canis Camacho. So the Camacho four-seater off-road Jeep, $345,000. You guys know the story by now. It's the last vehicle on this website. I think the more likely option that's gonna release is gonna be the Ubermach Revolter, which is a four-seater sports car for $1.6 million. Aside from the Autarch, which is a supercar, this is the most expensive vehicle we're gonna be getting out of the remaining ones. So fun fact, whether it's the Camacho or the Revolter, the vehicle we're gonna be getting tomorrow is going to be a four-seater vehicle. In fact, the next two weeks, it's gonna be a four-seater vehicle because the one after the Revolter is the Neon. So again, pretty cool stuff right here. I personally think the vehicle we're gonna be getting is gonna be the Revolter. Now, I'm sorry to be kind of a Debbie Downer here, but I think the worst vehicle out of all the ones in the Doomsday Heist is by far the Revolter. If you've seen any of my videos on the customization or some of the unique quirks and features, it sucks. Uh, this vehicle can be weaponized, which is actually quite odd. It gets the front mounted machine guns on there, but it has almost zero customization. I mean, it's a four door sports car. What are you gonna do with that? You're not gonna use it in races. Uh, there are better vehicles for transporting other people. So if it is the Ubermach Revolter, I just want you guys to know that you may be slightly disappointed with this vehicle. Now, if it's the Canis Camacho, that's awesome. I'm incredibly excited about this car, but I think that the Camacho is gonna be one of the last few vehicles released. So tomorrow, I am honestly expecting Rockstar to reveal and release the Ubermach Revolter. So again, very interesting car to say the least. Not so sure I'm super thrilled about it, but at least it is a new vehicle. Now, aside from that, I do not believe Rockstar is gonna be introducing a new adversary mode. So we only have one adversary mode left in the files and that is hardest target. And because Rockstar just released Air Quota, I don't think they're gonna be releasing hardest target. So what I would expect tomorrow is just the new vehicle, whether it's the Revolter or the Camacho, and then another standard event week with bonuses, discounts, sales, likely double money in RP once again on the air quota adversary mode. There's gonna be a premium race and a time trial. It's been a while since Rockstar has given us anything for free, whether it's shirts or you know a free item, an accessory like a hat or something like that. So that would certainly be nice if Rockstar did that. 
Now, as far as what sort of the bonuses and discounts and sales are, last week we saw them finally start to do some doomsday high sales. So I would imagine if they will uh, start to do more of that this week, where they might have a couple cars or a couple new items from the doomsday high start to go on sale, uh, that would be pretty cool. But other than that, I expect it to be a pretty standard event week. I think it's going to last one week long, where basically seven days from now, we're going to be getting a new event week. I actually hope that Rockstar make this event week a little bit better than the last couple we've been getting. Honestly, they haven't been all that great. Even when they did the double money and RP on Lester's contact missions, that was like the only thing that they did that was kind of notable in that week. The rest was pretty terrible. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I know this was a pretty short video, but that right there is the compact, quick version of everything you need to know about what's probably going to happen tomorrow in online. In the comments right now, let me know what vehicle you think is going to be releasing. Is it going to be the Canis Camacho or is it going to be the Ubermach Revolter? And which one do you want to see Rockstar release? Again, I would personally prefer the Camacho, but I definitely think we're going to be seeing the Revolter tomorrow in online. But like I said, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to drop a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.